everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, the eh, 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 Indian Let's Play. So, everyone, we're back in this awesome Let's Play where right now we are in a very much tense situation right now with our neighbors of China, because basically we have a core, they have a core on us, and that core will never go away, and I don't think I'll ever give them back the land, so, yeah. We're kind of at an impasse, so what do we do? Well, I say what we're going to do is we're basically going to do this. We're going to form an awesome, an awesome, ultra cool alliance with everyone around them to make sure that they. Well, first off, I want to make sure that we have a well protected boundary against the Chinese, because. The Chinese, we, I know I'm going to go back to war against them. I don't know when, though. Probably very soon after they do anything cool. Because right now they have a really powerful alliance, guys. Have a really powerful alliance. So we're going to have to deal with that. So I'm planning on that very, very soon. So I'm going to start doing that. Also, I, what I think I'm going to start doing is I'm going to slightly influence um, Armin's. Because I need to get some, some countries in my sphere of influence. Otherwise, we're going to be having difficulties. And you know what time it is, everyone. Massively... Massively upgrade everything. Yay. Wait, I have to look at the most craftsmen. We're the most craftsmen in this place, which I'm already upgrading a lot. Okay, let's upgrade more. Upgrade more. More, I say. More. I'm also going to expand this out a little bit. To include a electrical gears. Wait, do I want automotive or electrical gears? Let's see. What is exactly in here again? Let's see. Explosive furniture. Okay. I know exactly what I want for this. I want electrical gears. Let me make sure. Yeah, I want electrical gears. Then what I'm gonna do is build a telephone, or do I want an airplane or a telephone? Or do I want to steal? I don't know. Let's build a let's build a telephone. That way it'll expand that uh, over here. This would actually be good for a uh, an airplane because it already has a lumber mill inside of it. I think. Oh, it doesn't. I may have just made a wrong mistake. Um, but that way right here, more electrical gears, and voila! Perfect economy, making skills, un numero uno. Okay, so yeah, basically guys, I'm going to be preparing for when we have to fight against our evil, evil, evil friends, the Chinese. It's going to happen. Like, guys, I, I don't know if you realize this, but it's going to happen, so we're just going to have to prepare for it. Um, on all fronts, so what I'm going to start doing is moving people into the uh, Mongolian front Because Mongolian front is actually a front and we're going to have to deal with that So I'm going to start, once I have enough people, I'm going to start moving them all into All into stuff, and by the way, I should mention, I've done a big gigantic recruiting program Because we're going to need it We're going to desperately need a gigantic recruiting program Because we're going to be at war if this, if they were to declare war on us, we're going to be potentially at war with the entire British army, and then we're going to be potentially at war with the German Empire. Also, I'm going to try to get an alliance with Austria or France. Basically, bury the hatchet with them because we need more allies. Just in case, if this massively powerful alliance was to come to pass, and oh my goodness, I am so close to passing the United States. I am so happy. Um, all right, all right, you guys. I'm glad you guys understand. Because we need to make sure that if the Germans would declare war on us, we would have a good ally there. And, you know, once the Germans end their war, you know, we'd still have good alliances. We have to make sure we are well protecting ourselves. Okay? I'm also going to uh, stop producing influence in Japan. Because Japan's actually costing us too much right now. It's it, We're not going to win it. That's basically what I'm going to say. We're not going to win this. I'm going to put some influence points into uh, our friend over here of Mongolia. That way we can start owning Mongolia, and that way we have a good sphere. Alright, right now I also can't protect Mongolia, so it's kind of sad. We're going to need one, two, three, four, possibly four armies on the border constantly patrolling Mongolia. That's going to be difficult. That's going to be slightly difficult. Uh, Korea is actually doing pretty good. They could probably, they could probably deal with any attacks, and long live India! A little bit late to the party, but I think you guys understand. Um, 
I really don't need to be protecting Bunai, but I kind of do need to protect Bunai, because that's kind of my uh, colony that needs to be protected constantly. And, yeah. Okay, so what do we need more of? Well, we need more electrical fa I'm going to save some slots, actually, for um, tanks. We're going to need some tanks in the industrial world. Because tanks are awesome. No, don't let, tell. Don't let anyone else say otherwise. So, yeah, but we really need to... Let me make sure. If they were to go to war, how long... Let's see. They don't have any truces, so... It would just be an instantaneous thing, so... Russia dealing with both fronts of... They, they could not deal with both fronts. I'm thinking about it right now. They could not deal with both fronts. I don't care if you are a powerful Germany or anything. You will not be able to deal with an all-powerful... Um, what is it called? An all-powerful... Uh, oh, man. I'm, I'm forgetting. An all-powerful France and an all-powerful... Um, oh, man. This is... We really don't have that many anymore. It's so cool. Just wish other people would also distract them, or maybe more rebellions. But yeah, we gotta make sure that we start preparing ourselves for this, because I'm preparing myself. I don't know about you guys, but I am, I am preparing myself mentally, mentally for this big, big invasion. That's probably not. By the way, I'm probably not gonna get alliance with France for a very long time, but I really don't care because you know what? It's a journey of getting that alliance that counts. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay. Um, what should we focus on next? Uh, I think I'll probably focus on a little bit of, edu of fundamentalism. I haven't really been focusing too much on education because right now our education's been great. I don't really need to be focusing on it. Like, I'll be honest with you, it's not one of my big, big priorities. Okay, some of my new troops are starting to be made right now. That's good. Our production output is... I mean, it's stellar. We're just producing, producing, producing away. We are almost past a thousand mark in, uh, in producing, which is awesome. Our troops are lined up all across the border. We are not playing with China. We, no, 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 we are not playing. Okay, this is where most of the army is. It's good to know that they are also afraid of the Russian Empire, even though the Russians don't have any soldiers really over here to defend themselves. It's a good thing they are afraid of the Russians, but... Russia, you have some of your troops over there, so I'm assuming... Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, why, why do you have to have stupid, ugh, red guards in your arm, I'm assuming those are red guards, yes, the red guards, why did you have to have red guards in your, in your stupid army, why do you not just have a decent economy, not economy, but a decent, like, corrupt government to deal with all these problems, why, why do you not have a good corrupt go oh my goodness, we've given out, Okay, I'm gonna have to start sorting these. Zones. Okay, why did we give Portugal seven hundred and ninety-five dollars? Seriously, why? Uh, Ecuador can't pay it back. I know that. What? Grand Colombia formed? Huh? Like I said, there are only. If you guys, are, if you could, those of you guys who don't know the significance of this, I did like a mini let's play on. How to form Grand Columbia. Well, not really how to form, just a mini let's play of see how likely it would be to form Col Grand Columbia as Columbia. Pretty much, it was unlikely. You were never going to form Grand Columbia from the get-go, and it was just, no. Oh, you guys want to join the crisis? Good job. Um, but yeah. The only way, like I said, the only way I saw this ever forming was the fact if, any, if another great power warned you to form it, or if it naturally came about from wars. So, that's what naturally happened. It came about from wars. From over here, how are we doing in centralizing our army? Let's centralize our army right here. Centralizing new army over here. Making everything right there. Okay. Electrical rolling techniques. Yay! And our capital is slowly starting to make its army. Oh my goodness. And education system just went up just by a little bit. I didn't really care though. I'm going to get some of our re reinforcements a little bit more powerful because that's actually going to be a major technology in the future. Okay, we're increasing, we should probably increase our naval bases. Oh, that's something else we have to do. Okay, so let's see. Naval bases. We have to expand. Ex I suppose just do this. Okay, control click. Control click. Control or oh, expanding. 
Control click. Doesn't it just two? No, I didn't, cause I didn't like. Yeah, there's sometimes there's a cheat way you could use to just like expand your bases because it's like, cause it's a different provinces sometimes. Like because one of them was a British province, I could actually expand both, but apparently not. I didn't do that. Wasn't small enough. Okay. Like expand here, expand here. Let's see. How's our great colony doing? Uh, it's still expanding everything, but it's still doing great. Over here we have our less than admirable colony, but I think I will make a center of trade in Amino Dubai. And I can't really do anything right over there. Over here, let's see, where's the awesome trade port? Right there. Okay, let's go. There we go. So yeah, I'm just, let's go a little bit faster. Why am I going so slow? I have no clue. And we're going to have to wait for our money to recover, because I want to make sure I have at least one point million in the bank. That way we don't run out of any money soon. That'd be really bad, actually. Running out of money really soon would be really bad. So, let's see. We have more army men starting to be made. Good sign our economy is starting to work. Trouble is brewing. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Is this for truth? Oh! 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 Oh, no. This is... This is frankly just too good to be true. This could potentially throw the entire whack of China out of brink. Russia? Oh my goodness, this is such an evenly fought battle. China versus Russia. France versus Germany. Wow, this is... Oh my goodness, this can't even get more even. I mean, if I threw my tail in there, I think it'd probably get more even, but I don't want to. I'm just going to watch this and see what happens. This is only going to spark a great war if it actually comes to pass. Which is scary thought, but it's the truth. Can I tear off my way? Sorry guys, I was just seeing if I could tear off my way out of this. No, I could not. Let's see, if I do a negative tear off, will that help a little bit of my economy? Uh, it helps a little bit, but it's also kind of weakening to my economy too. Let's start expanding. Yeah, this, this province right here, I love it. It just honestly, I cannot... Whatever I do, it just honestly has more and more people. And I'm honestly having to expand every single second with that province. It's not even like, it's really crucial. Okay. Stop for a second. I'm, I'm gonna have to expand all this. Expand, 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 expand. Yep. Just a massive, massive economy boost. Oh my goodness, we are flashing really bad colors. Back to not negative tariffs. Not because, wait, how much does negative tariffs have? Only a hundred? Why am I feeling so bad about that? Okay, never mind. We don't want to negative, we don't want to give them any negatives, because that's really bad. That is apparently really bad. Okay. Okay, and we're still doing pretty good. I mean, we're still at like 50% taxing them right now, which is good for us. Like, that's honestly good for us. <laughs> uh, taxing, taxes, I mean, taxes are just not that bad this year. Uh, we don't want to take down, take down that. That actually would kill us. And if you guys know why, it's because of those rebel problems. They actually would kill us. Like, I'm not I'm not legitly trying to be a uh, downtrodden or an evil guy or anything of that. That would kill us. That would kill our economy right there. It's having the fact we have more rebels. Yeah, but how are the rebels doing in our country? Huh. One managed to raise $4.4 million. That is a pretty imp impressive feat. The communists, the Indian communists somehow raised a lot. And then everyone else is just kind of falling behind. Wow. You know, guys, I should really just kill you all. Let me see. Is there any good support movements I have to... Suffrage movement. The movement likely to come up in the future. Hmm. Common school movement. Could I do... Could I give everyone basic schooling so that they would get off my back? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not that type of ruler. I'm not going to... Like I said, guys, I'm really sticking to my... <sighs> you see, the problem is that the game kind of wants you to go in that direction. Because they kind of want you to be like that really good, nice leader. You know what I mean, guys? You kind of know what I mean? You know, like that really nice, good leader. That's what they're kind of pushing you for. And honestly, I don't want to be that. I, don't, I ain't got time for that. I want to be my own dictator who casually loves to just mess with people's heads that's all I want to do I mean it's not even that like hard okay okay so that's the last tube over here 
This army is basically completed over here. I'll go send it to its new position. Position in Mongolia. This will be. I'll basically use Mongolia as a complete and other defense. I might even have to go in a little bit inwards to Mongolia. It's a little bit too big of a province. Mm, I'm gonna have to think of it. Should I guard Mongolia? Yes, I'm gonna have to guard Mongolia. If if they were to enter in a war with me, I would have to guard Mongolia. Uh, but just in case that they wouldn't, I'm gonna move troops over here so that I have them stationed just in case that, that somehow they don't join in with me. I at least still have troops over there to make sure that we have protection against a gigantic, like, Chinese attack. Because that would be scary. Okay. Increase the relationship with France. Because France and I are buddies, at least I'm pretending we're buddies, and our economy is really flashing dangerous colors, so. Let's see, what happened if I tax it all the way? No, it would not fix the problems. Well, I'm going to go up to about 70% taxes. That's going to hurt my little medium class. I'm going to keep the, I'm going to keep the capitalist at low, and yes, I'm showing favoritism to the rich. Sue me. Try, well, actually, better yet, try try your luck at trying to sue the government that's not open as the United States. Establish a protector against Hernandez has been discovered. Oh, no. And, oh my goodness, we are such a divided country. Like, legitly, we are really a divided country. We should try again. We are not going to do, we're not going to fail. We're going to succeed. And, shoot, we are really a divided country. Like, I'm not joking, guys. We are really a divided country. Like, no party is in power right now. I mean, I... I guess our, I guess our population is basically how mirrors our upper elective. That's really bad. That's really bad that we are such a divided country in terms of views. Kaboom! Yeah. New rebellion! Oil! Yay! I found... Finally, really? That took me a long time to find that oil. Okay, I, got, I think that's the last troop in this division. Alright, and then this rebellion, good, is it... I'm not sure if the young... I think the young brigades are good, because I think they will unite against my country. They will unite my country, so... That's good. Uh, let's keep going down. Let's go up there. Shorted rifles. Um, go right here. And move these troops over here. I guess I can't actually move my troops. I guess I have to get a military alliance with uh, Mongolia, and I don't really want military access with Mongolia. Okay, my economy slightly recovered, I think, and then it's also probably not recovering at the same time. It's kind of like an in-betweeny thing. Let me see, how much do I have? I'm getting closer to the United States, though. That's the only thing I'm really feeling proud of myself for. I'm still not even maximized my entire production. I mean, it's still got a lot of empty places, and we still got a lot to go. Let's see, the, the uh, wealthy are starting to become more and more abundant in my... Now, let's... I'm going to be so favoritism with this. Give him even more rights. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, I'm giving my uh, rich way too much power, but I really do believe we need to expand just a little bit. And let's see. Education we can keep as is. Not only really fighting and social spending. That's good. Unemployment subsidized. That would kill us. Unemployment subsidized. That right there would kill us. Because we have almost... A billion people that are unemployed right now. It's not even our fault that they're unemployed. They just are unemployed. So let's see if that will help the uh, rich move in a little bit faster. Because right now I'm basically, guys, what I'm saying is I'm about done managing, micromanaging my economy, and I want the capitalists to kind of take over. I want them to kind of be the ones to, you know, spearhead the economy front and start micromanaging it. But we're also kind of killing my economy right now, which means, oh my goodness, I hate doing this. Taxes. Oh, the poor are going to rise up and kill me. <laughs> the poor... Guys, wait for it. The poor are going to rise up to kill me. But what that also causes with all these massive rebellions... Karl Marx. Scientists in our country has discovered Karl Marx. Karl Marx. I just discovered Karl Marx. Uh, we just... Okay. Okay. I can roll with that. But what that actually causes, guys, is it actually causes the rest of these regions around here to feel um, rebellion just because I'm the main region. So what I'm hoping is that will cause that will cause massive descent around everywhere and they'll just start rebelling everywhere. Who did they care about drinking? And my factories are starting to collapse just one by one. And even when subsidized one of my factories collapsed so 
Oh, it's in my main region too. Good. I actually wanted to keep my main region open because I wanted to make some tanks here. I could also build electrical gear output. It might help us a little bit. Yep, the Afghans are starting to think that they can take on me. Oh, great. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. The massive hordes of people that are about to become angry at me. Okay. Go hunt them down. Oh, my goodness. This is going to get into a big, massive brawl. I, they're gaining so much a day. How many rebels are joining? 137 rebels. Okay, the Ottomans. Let's become friends, buddy, buddy, Ottomans. Whatever. Me and you are now friends. Because you know what? I need more friends. Okay, friendly. Uh, you guys still in the Formal Alliance? Yes, you guys are still in the Formal Alliance. We are becoming really close friends. Which is good. Okay, artillery factory closed down. That's kind of good. One of my friends is playing something. That's good. Oh, my goodness. And then Germany is getting their butts whooped by someone. That is always good. Because I don't like it when Germany is all ahead of me. And with that, they might even drop some... Um, they split them up a little bit. They might even drop some... Uh, industrial score. Anyways, guys, I think that's about an episode. I want to thank you guys for joining us. This was mainly an episode of me just kind of transferring my styles now to the late game. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.